kids learn it too. We are the Earth and the Moon, and you will learn really soon. You can fit the planets in our solar system between us. This is true. We are the Earth and the Moon. We meant to tell you for a while the average distance between us. We will explain to you. With a smile, the average distance between the Earth and the Moon is 382,500 kilometers. Here's the other seven planets fit between us, explaining who they are with some cool features. I am Mercury, the first planet from the Sun. I'm the second hottest planet on my run. My average diameter. We 4,879 kilometers at these up as they are shown I am Venus the hottest planet and the second from the Sun I have an average diameter of 12,104 kilometers in the solar system hi I am Mars the fourth planet from the Sun you should know I have an average diameter of 6,771 kilometers as I did show. My name is Jupiter, the largest planet, and from the sun, I'm number five. My average diameter is 139,822 kilometers as I thrive. I'm the planet with the prominent rings, the sixth one called Saturn. My average diameter is 116,464 kilometers while I turn. I am Uranus. I am the seventh planet from the solar system's sun. I have an average diameter of 50,724 kilometers. I'm a frozen one. I am Neptune, the eighth and last planet in the solar system, as far as we know. I have an average diameter of 49,244 kilometers. I'm blue as shown. Our total planet diameter size when added up is 380,008 kilometers we share. We still have 2,492 kilometers of space to spare. We are the Earth and the Moon. And you will learn really soon. You can fit the planets in our solar system between us. This is true. We are the Earth and the Moon. We meant to tell you for a while the average distance between us we will explain to you with a smile I'm 
rotate the same speed as the earth And I'm a natural source of light I'm the moon My appearance is gray and white You only see one half of my surface Whether it's day or night When the earth spins on its axis Ocean levels stay the same Then the moon's gravitational pull Creates the tides that we see change 238,900 miles from the earth is the distance measured when the first spaceship landed on my turf The reason you see one half of my surface all the time Is because my rotation's the same speed as the earth taught in this rhyme It takes 27 Earth days for me to rotate once around There is no air on my surface so you won't hear any sound On the moon, Earth's natural satellite I rotate the same speed as the earth and I'm a natural source of light I'm the moon My appearance is gray and white You only see one half of my surface whether it's day or night So life can grow There is only one planet we know so far That is teeming with life, of course That planet that we're sure can sustain real life Has a well-known name, it is the Earth If the Earth were to move as far as Pluto The sun would be the size of a pea 
The oceans and atmosphere on Earth would immediately freeze. But if Earth moved to the position of planet Mercury, the Earth's water would quickly boil away. There would be no more life you see. The Goldilocks Zone is a habitable place where Earth sits from the sun, allowing water to stay liquid. Liquid water's the source of life. That's how life on Earth begun. Stars come in different sizes, masses, and temperatures throughout space. Size and temperature of a star determines the Goldilocks Zone's place. Stars that are smaller and much cooler than the sun have a habitable zone much closer to their star on its run. Stars that are hotter, much larger, and more massive than the sun have their habitable zone much farther. This concludes our fun. Did you know? The place you call home is a habitable place in space called the Goldilocks Zone. It's a place in space, a certain distance from our star, where liquid water could be found. Guess what? It's where you are. the earth and the moon and you will learn really soon you can fit the planets in our solar system between us this is true we are the earth and the moon we meant to tell you for a while the average distance between us we will explain to you with a smile the average distance between the earth and the moon is 382,500 kilometers here's the other seven planets fit between us explaining who they are with some cool features i am mercury the first planet from the sun i'm the second hottest planet on my run my average diameter we do know is 4,879 kilometers Add these up as they are shown I am Venus, the hottest planet And the second from the sun I have an average diameter of 12,104 kilometers in the solar system Hi, I am Mars, the fourth planet from the sun you should know I have an average diameter of 6,771 kilometers as I did show My name is Jupiter, the largest planet in from the sun I'm number 5 My average diameter is 139,822 kilometers as I thrive I'm the planet with the prominent rings The sixth one called Saturn My average diameter is 116,464 kilometers While I turn I am Uranus I am the seventh planet from the solar system's sun I have an average diameter of 50,724 kilometers. I'm a frozen one. I am Neptune, the eighth and last planet in the solar system, as far as we know. I have an average diameter of 49,244 kilometers. I'm blue as shown. Our total planet diameter size when added up is 380,008 kilometers we share. We still have 2,492 kilometers of space to spare. We are the Earth and the Moon. And you will learn really soon. You can fit the planets in our solar system between us. This is true. 
We are the Earth and the Moon. We meant to tell you for a while. The average distance between us, we will explain to you with a smile. Thanks for watching KLT. Please subscribe to this channel, like our videos, and check out the KLT merch store.